Hi guys, it's Erica again, and I'm coming to you right now with a haul. I know that I just told you about No Spin November, but this haul is from when I went away with my girlfriends on a little getaway a couple weekends ago. And while I was gone, I did have a cool budget set up for a few months. Anthony and I had set up a budget for me to go to cover the hotel room and gas costs and um, meal costs and a little shopping. So I wanted to show you what I picked up on my weekend away. Um, it wasn't a whole lot and a couple of things are not going to be shown, but I'll tell you about them because they're in the laundry or I've used them in some other way, but I'll let you know about those in a minute. So let's look at what I picked up on my girls getaway. So the first place I went and I had never been here before, although I have seen hauls from you guys on here is I went to Tuesday morning. Now I will say that when I went to Tuesday morning, I saw a thousand things I liked, but I was really trying to restrict my spending on this trip to picking up things for Christmas or um, things that were, you know, reasonable or on sale because I really am trying to be careful about my spending. So what I picked up from Tuesday morning is just two gifts for Maxwell to put under the tree. Um, I have been looking for some wooden puzzles for him because it's such a great way to learn and his little fingers kind of need the wooden ones and they're good quality. So one of them doesn't have little knobs and um, it's this one and it's a pick a piece 3D puzzle and it's vehicles. Um, I think it is actually called that. No. Anyway, it's it's got like um, an ambulance, um, a fire truck, tractors, um, forklifts, a helicopter, trucks, all sorts of things. But Max will, loves anything with wheels. So I thought he'd really enjoy this puzzle um, to be under the Christmas tree this year. So that's one thing I picked up. And the other thing I picked up at Tuesday morning was this one with the numbers. And they're really decorated, so cute, and they have little red knobs on them, so they're good for his little fingers for um, fine motor skills. So I picked those two up, and they were both, um, the vehicles one was $1.99, and this one was $2.99. So that's what I picked up from Tuesday morning. And then, um, this is a place, again, a store I had never gone to. We went away to a city here in Indiana that I just had never spent a lot of time in. I have been there, but I had not spent a lot of time there, and we stayed the weekend. So they had different stores than we had, and it was a lot of fun. So the next place is called Gordman's, and it, is, it says something unexpected, and you can look up um, them on Gordman's.com. But it's sort of like a TJ Maxx kind of store. It's got home goods, it's got decorations, that kind of thing. And it's got clothes, shoes, baby clothes, toys, kind of like a smaller toy section. And again, I didn't buy a whole lot there. I bought two items. One of them is in my kitchen already and it's just a sign that says, um, he stole her heart so she stole his last name. And Anthony just really liked it when I sent him a picture of it and asked me to purchase it. So it's in our kitchen right now. And then this little thing I bought for my mom for Christmas and it was only four, it was $4.99, which I think is a lot, but I really liked it. My mom collects nativity sets. I started that for her probably about 20 years ago. And so this is sort of a very small, just baby Jesus and some sheep. I thought this would be a cute little addition to her collection. So that's something little I got for my mom for Christmas. And then I got that sign obviously for my kitchen. Also, we went to Target while we were in this town and I went to the one spot. And I have to say, guys, I was so disappointed in the one spot right before Halloween. It stunk. I don't know. Nothing was in the one spot that I really thought was great. But I did find one thing, which was this um, small roll of washi tape or paper tape. And it's one, oh, wait, it's four, it's five yards. And it was obviously in the dollar spot, so it's a dollar. And it's just gold and white stripe. It's really, really pretty. And I thought it would really go good with some Christmas gifts. So that's what I picked up in the Target one spot. The next place that I will cover is Barnes and Noble, which I love bookstores. Me and the two girls that went on this retreat are all bookworms. And we love them, love them, love them, love bookstores. And I don't often go to Barnes and Noble because of full price books. I usually go to half price books or my local bookstore that's a used bookstore. I love it. And I also use my reader and my iPad a lot too to read eBooks. But when I do go to Barnes and Noble, I love going. And I usually have a coupon or go to the discount books. Yeah, I'm cheap, guys. 
So anyway, I found a book for myself by Jodi Picoult called House Rules, and I'm reading it, and it's in the kitchen. So I will not be showing that, but I did buy it in the bargain books for $6.98, so yay for that, and it's hardback. And while I was there, I picked up some things for Maxwell. Maxwell has learned from his mommy, and he is a book lover as well. Um, and board books are everything to him right now. And as you guys know, so is Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. So I asked the um, lady in the children's section if they had anything Daniel Tiger. They did have a bunch of um, like picture books that were uh, lightweight and just paper. And they were like somewhere around $4 a piece and they had four or five different kinds. But Maxwell's not into those books yet. He still tears them up. So I wanted board books and she showed me a few board books and I bought all the board books they had in the Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. So let me show you those. So I got this one first. It's um, a ride through the neighborhood and it's shaped as the trolley. And the wheels move, which Maxwell will love. And you can see the pictures are great. So that was the first one I bought and it's for Christmas for him. And then I bought Snowflake Day, which is actually an episode of Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood that Maxwell loves. And I'm gonna do this in his Christmas book collection. I'm doing, starting December 1st, he will open a book every day and we'll read that for bedtime until um, December 24th. We will read The Night Before Christmas. So, and I got that from Pinterest. And this will be one of the books that he'll open. And then I also got this really cool book with tabs up here and it says Meet the Neighbors. And each of the neighbors or characters on the show has a tab. And just an example, here's Miss Elena, who we love because she's a biracial child from a Black daddy and a white mommy, just like Max. So it's so nice for him to be able to see someone like him on his show. And this is such a cool book. So that's also one of his Christmas presents. Okay, so the next place we went, we all that went are big crafters. We love paper crafts. We love any, any crafts, really. So we spent a lot of time at Joanne's Fabric and Michael's. Um, that weekend and I bought a few items there as well again I tried to keep my budget very very low so the first thing I bought th this is from Joann's fabrics um, in this city and I got some wall decals for my bathroom and they're silver and shiny and they're in the damask pattern like my shower curtain in my bathroom and I just love them so much so Anthony's going to help me put these kind of in the right places in the room but these are Adorable and they were on I think they were on 60% off Then all the fall stuff when I went was 70% off and I found these cute napkins for Thanksgiving dinner And since I hosted at my house, I thought these would be nice and fancy to go with Thanksgiving dinner that day I really like these and they were regularly like $3.99, but I got them for 70% off so a buck something maybe and Then actually I have my receipt right here so I can tell you how much my napkins were they were, um, the silver damask pattern things were $5.99, and then the, sorry guys, finding things on here is interesting. Hmm, they were 89 cents, so yay to 89 cent napkins. And then the other things I did was washi tape, and I'll quickly show you these because I'm running into eight minutes and I don't want you guys to have to sit here forever so the first one here is uh, a pink polka dot and it's a really thick roll as you can see and I think these were on they were 60% off so each of them was 179 which isn't too bad the next one is kind of like a heart and and boxes pattern and again the same it's the same um, width it's it's by the company tape works and then we have a teal and white um, chevron which I love and then we have the teal and silver like diamond pattern really cool and glittery and this last one is a gift for my friend Carrie and she actually was on the retreat and I hid it from her she loves owls so I bought her this owl tape really really cute so that's all of my stuff from Joann's fabrics and my last place I'm going to show you is from Michael's and it's probably the most I bought the whole weekend and we also went out to nice dinners, so yay to that. Always nice to get to eat quietly and slowly when you're a mom and not have cold food and have dinner conversation that doesn't involve don't pick your nose. And I really enjoyed it, although I needed dinner with my husband like that. I really enjoyed my girls um, that weekend. So I'll show you what all I got at the good old Michael's. 
So the first thing was all of these um, airmail type of items were 70% um, off. So I actually got everything that you see in this kind of pattern for $1 each. They were $2.99 regularly and I got them for $1 each. So the first one are these airmail envelopes, which I thought were so cute. The second one is these Hello Friend cards. Um, the next one is these, these say uh, wishing you an epic day and they're cards. And they do have the envelopes with them, I think. And then I got this whole set of scrapbook embellishments or card embellishments. There's some uh, washi tape in here. There's some, um, some brads and some stickers. And it's like, oh, it's a card kit. So there's some cards back here and envelopes too. So $1 for that is a really good deal. And then I think I got, yeah, that was it on that. So then I also got a lot of their chalkboard stuff that was in their dollar area. So I got two packets of these, two packs of the their little clothespin clip chalkboard labels. I got two of those. And then I also got two packages of these that hang with a little piece of um, like twine. Two packs of those. And I thought those were super cute. Then I also, which I can't show you because I already gave them out on Halloween, I got a bag of tiny little slinkies with jack-o'-lantern faces on them. And they were, I'm gonna say 89 cents for the whole bag and there were 12. So I gave them out in my treat bags for Halloween. And then I bought this guy, which is just a little ceramic pumpkin that you can paint and it's a magnet for your fridge. And it was 29 cents in the Halloween section um, at 70% off at Michael's before Halloween. So I'm just gonna paint that and get that ready for next year. And then I bought four, I'm gonna say four of these. Let me make sure I got them all. I see three, but not four. Okay, so three, maybe I bought three of these. Three of these little, um, um, little clipboards, magnets that you put on your fridge and they have a little paper with them. This one says, um, never ever forget and has a polka dotted background. This one is stripe paper and a little like gra almost graph paper background and it um, doesn't say anything. And then this one has a little bicycle and like a damask background in red. And then I bought two rolls of this, one for me and one for a friend. And it's just tiny, it's washi tape with tiny little Eiffel Towers on it. So cute. So guys, that is my haul from My Girls Getaway. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you take time to get away for yourself. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.